who can dock the boat the quickest? That question will be answered this weekend in Eden as the Wicomico Yacht Club puts on its fourth annual boat docking contest. Of course, WBOC is a proud sponsor of this event, which has grown each and every year. And Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli spoke with Commodore Tom Jones about what folks can expect on Sunday and why it's an event that so many people are so passionate about. Boaters, start your engines. The Wicomico Creek is going to be busy this weekend because it's time for the 2019 Boat Docking Contest. We are here at the Wicomico Yacht Club. I'm joined by Commodore Tom Jones. How you doing, Katie? Tom, great to be here. Good. So tell us all about this year's events, the fourth year of the event. That's right, Katie. This is our fourth year. Uh, each year, this event has been building for us. It's quite a learning experience to put this on. It's a lot more complicated than people may think just to have a few boats come in and dock. But in fact, we'll have between 12 and 14 uh, boats with their boat captains and, and first mates. And along with that, we do a lot of fundraising for this because this is one of the biggest fundraising events we have for the Yacht Club. And so we put together the funds, we bring the pilings in, we have to drive new pilings for this boat docking contest. And then we've got to have vendors and we've got to have food and we got to have drinks. So it's quite an event. It starts at one o'clock. That's when boats start, the boats start docking and it finishes around four. And uh, but we open the gates for the public around 11 o'clock at 11 o'clock. Now, what exactly for folks who don't know, what exactly is a boat docking contest? OK, this is an event where individual boat owners will take their work boats. These are working boats on the Chesapeake. And we have this event on a Sunday because most of the time these guys are working during the week, even through Saturday. So Sunday's like their day off, but this is kind of a fun event for them. And so they, they get involved. And so they bring their work boat here. They will start from a specific point and it's a timed event. The starter will t say go and they take their boat out and then they back it in to a dock that we create for them. And when they get into that dock, they've got to get their lines, their mooring lines over the pilings. And as soon as they get that last line on, the clock stops and that's their time for their run. And you want to be the champion. You want to be the champion of this. And now if you are the champion, you don't necessarily get this trophy. This is for somebody else. Huh? No, uh, we have uh, uh, other ways of recognizing the timed winners of the regular boat dock, boat docking. But this is something that the, the Yacht Club, the Wicomico Yacht Club is starting this year. And that is we're going to give a trophy along with the purse to the, the winner of the shootout. At the end of the regular boat docking, there's a special shootout event where not all of the boats will compete, only a few. And it's a pretty wild event because they're trying to get the absolute best time they can. And the winner of that event will get this trophy plus the purse. And this trophy will be handed from winner to winner each year cool. because it's not doesn't have a, a date on it. So this year's winner will get it. They'll keep it for a year. And then next year when we have our boat docking event, they will either retain it or they'll give it to the, the winner. It's going to be hard to part with. I mean, yeah. it's a nice trophy. It's a nice trophy. Now, and you were saying that this is an important event for you guys to be putting on. Why is that so? Well, because it is a fundraising event for us. It's fundraising and it's also people raising for us. We want to get people down to this wonderful club we have here and try to recruit new members. And so the more people we can get from the public down here to see what we have, the better chances there are that we can get more members. So it's sort of a twofold. We get a, a very nice amount of money from our sponsors that support this event. And then from the vendors, we're going to have uh, uh, food trucks and jewelry sales and ice cream sales uh, outside. Uh, we will also have, of course, food and dr food, uh, drink for everybody. And so through that and the gate, it's $15 to get in through the gate. So through all that, we have one of our biggest fundraising events for this club. Awesome. So hope, you hope to see people out there this weekend, Definitely. this Sunday. This Sunday. Uh, the weather's looking great. Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be sunny, a little warm. Huh? We want people to bring their lawn chairs uh, so they can sit and uh, relax. And we have real nice space underneath this building where it's nice and cool and they can still see the boat docking event. So. Uh, well, it's going to be fantastic. And may the best boat docker win. Right. All right. Thanks so much, Tom. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys in the studio.
Now, if you've never been to the Yacht Club, uh, we're going to have that address for you, plus the rest of the event information on DelmarvaLife.com. Fundraising and people raising. Yeah, and a lot of fun and a lot that of you've fun. never been before. And of yeah. course, they are inside the new Yacht Club, the new clubhouse that they rebuilt after the last one uh, was destroyed in a fire. Yeah, and so it looks gorgeous. If you haven't seen it yet, go out and see it. you got to go. Mm-hmm.